and just levitate Okay guys, so welcome ulit sa ating YouTube channel. Ito na yung lesson 32 sa ating trigonometry. Ito na yung properties of logarithmic function. Logarithms. So, ito yung more properties. So, yung last time, that is property of logarithm, logarithmic function. So, yung mga domain something. Ito naman yung properties ng mismong logarithm. Okay, so the properties of logarithm. So, sabi if m and n and a, sorry that is a. Ay, bago. So, this is a. So, if m and n, a is not equal to 1, are positive real numbers, and r is any real number, then, sabi una, product property states that the logarithm base a of m times n is equal to the logarithm base a of m plus logarithm of base a n. Okay, next, ito yung quotient property, logarithm of a, logarithm base a of m over n is equal to logarithm of a, logarithm base a of m minus, this is minus, ito na bago, So, this is minus lang. So, minus logarithm base A of N. And lastly, if you have logarithm base A of N raised to R, so, mismo yung N, yung number sa loob, yung nakaraise sa R, and that is equal sa R times logarithm base A of N. So, meaning bababa yun. Okay? So, in this case, hindi siya similar dito. Si logarithm base A of N raised to R is not equal sa logarithm base n raised to r base a raised base a of n raised to r hindi siya equal diyan okay so meaning kung makita mo to hindi yan ganyan hindi pwedeng property na ganyan and then yan so ito yung three basic properties or yung most common use properties sa ating logarithm okay so again ito yung simplest form natin yung compact form niya okay so vice versa pwede yan so kung naka-plus ka pwede pang punta sa product naka-minus ka pwede mapunta sa quotient kung naka may multiplier sa logarithm ng scalar, pwede ko siya iangat sa loob ng logarithm. Okay? So, try natin yan. Gawin. So, examples. So, number one, express in expanded form. So, meaning expanded form. So, from di, from here, kailangan maging ganun. So, either sa mga yan. Okay? So, for letter A, we have logarithm base 2 of x and y. So, obviously, that is product. Okay? So, yung by property, A siya. So, for letter A, So, we have logarithm base 2 of x and y. That is simply equal sa logarithm base 2 of x. Since product, that is plus logarithm base 2 of y. So, therefore, ito yung expanded form. So, no need to solve. Okay, letter B. Okay, we have logarithm base 3 of y over 8. Since y over 8 siya, quotient siya, so magiging minus. So, this is logarithm base 3 of y minus logarithm base 3 of 8. Okay, so therefore, ito yung kanyang magiging sagot. O, yung kanyang expanded form. Next is, logarithm base 10 of x raised to 5. So, kung napansin mo, isang variable lang siya, pero may raised na number. So, applying this property, since naka-raise siya, so letter C, We have logarithm base 10 of x raised to 5. This is just equal sa 5 times the logarithm base 10 of x. Okay, so ganun siya kasimple. Then letter D. So we have logarithm base a of cube root of x. So kung napansin mo, wala tayong property para dyan. Pero may property tayo para sa exponent. So, sa radicals rather. So, radical to exponent. So, gawin natin yung radical to exponent sya. So, this is just equal sa logarithm base a of x raised sa one third. Then, applying yung property number 3. So, this is just bring down si one third. Then, logarithm base a of x. Therefore, ito yung kanyang expanded form. Okay, so ganun siya, kasimple. Okay, next is more expand, expansion or expanded form. So, express in expanded form again, itong mga to. So, ito medyo pinag-alo-halo ko konti. So, for letter A, we have logarithm base 2 of x squared y squared. For letter B, we have logarithm base 10 of cube of square root of x over or y over x cube. Okay, so try natin. So, letter A. So, we have logarithm base 2 
of x squared y. So, this is simply by product rule. So, this is logarithm base 2 of x squared plus logarithm base 2 of y. Note na ito pwede pa simplify. So, this is just simply equal sa 2 logarithm base 2 of x plus logarithm base 2 of y. So, therefore, ito yung expanded form. So, as long as pwede ka mag-apply ng property ng logarithm, apply mo. Gawin mo. Okay? So, it is not necessary na kapag apply ka na isa, na-expand mo na siya. Okay? So, tulad na ito, since x squared pa siya, pwede ko pa naman siya ibaba. Gagawin niyo pa yun. Okay? Next is letter B. Uh, we have logarithm base 10 of square root of x over y cube. So, since naka- exponential pa siya, gawin natin siya, nakaradical pa siya, gawin natin siya exponential. So, this is logarithm base 10 ng x over y raised to 3 raised sa 1 half. Okay, then apply muna natin yung property number 3 bago tayo makapag-difference. So, babala natin siya. So, that is 1 half logarithm base 10 then x over y cube. Then, applying si ating difference or si quotient rule. So, this is 1 half. Okay, then times logarithm base 10 of x minus logarithm base 10 of y cube. Okay, next is siyempre di pa to simplify. So, we have, babala natin to. So we have 1 half logarithm base 10 of x minus 3 logarithm base 10 of y. Next, syempre, hindi ba simplify yan? Okay, so distribute natin 1 half. So, last distribute si 1 half. This is 1 half logarithm base 10 of x minus 3 over 2 logarithm base 10 of y. Okay, so therefore, ito yung kanyang same expanded form. Okay, so na-apply ko si property natin na napaka-useful. Okay, so more example tayo dito. Okay, so for number 3, uh, express as a single logarithm. So, reverse part naman kanina. So, for an expanded form, gawin natin siyang single logarithm. So, again, pag natin mo yung plus, that is product automatic. Pero, before tayo mag-product, make sure na wala nang uh, uh, tawag dito, scalar factor or parang multiplier or constant or coefficient yung ating mga logarithm. So, example, letter A. So, letter A, obvious plus. So, pupunta siya parada. Kaso nga lang, meron pang 5 dito. So, ang una mong gagawin kay letter A, syempre, iangat mo muna yung 5, papunta kay Y. So, that is 1 Y raised to 5. Ma. So, for letter A, so, solve na natin yun. So, we have logarithm base 2 of X plus 5 logarithm base 2 of y. Next, this is equal sa logarithm base 2 of x plus logarithm base 2 of y raised to 5. Okay, next. Since parehas naman sila ng base, pwede ko apply yung product rule natin. Okay, so logarithm of the sum is equal to the logarithm of the product. So, this is equal sa logarithm base 2 of x y raised to 5. So, therefore, ito kanyang single logarithm or simplified form. Okay. So, another thing, uh, make sure na equal sila ng base. So, kanyari, logarithm base 3, logarithm base 2, hindi mo pwede apply yung uh, product rule. Okay. So, tandaan din yung mga ganong ruling dito. Okay. Letter B, if you have logarithm base 4 of y minus 1 part logarithm base 4 of x. So, katawad nung sa A, uh, meron pang 1 part dito. So, make sure na iangat pa natin sya dun. So, before tayo mag-apply na quotient, kasi minus siya. Okay, so for letter B, so we have logarithm base 4 of Y minus 1 fourth logarithm base 4 of X. So, this is equal sa logarithm base 4 of Y minus logarithm base 4 of X raised sa 1 fourth. Okay, next is apply na natin dito yung radical niya since gano'n naman yung ginagawa natin. This is simply logarithm 
base 4 of y minus logarithm base 4 of fourth root of x. Next, apply yung difference. This is, um, this is only equal sa logarithm base 4 of y over fourth root of x. So, therefore, ito yung kanyang sagot. Ay, so ganun siya. Pasimple. Okay, next is, syempre, napaka-useful din nung ating uh, tawag dito, property na tatlo para makapag-evaluate ng logarithm. So, for example, number 4, evaluate the following. So, we have letter A, 4 logarithm base 2 of 2 minus logarithm 2 base uh, logarithm 2 logarithm base 2 of 4. Okay, so tulad yan, apply mo natin yung ating mga ruling. So, gawin natin yung single form siya. So, for letter A, so, i-red ko na lang para maiba. So, for letter A, we have 4 logarithm base 2 of 2 minus logarithm base 2 of 4. So, applying a property, this is logarithm base 2 of 2 raised to 4 minus logarithm base 2 of 4. Okay, then, apply natin yung ating so, again, dapat naka-equate siya. So, mamaya equal ko na lang to. Equal logarithm. This is logarithm base 2 of 2 raised to 4 over 4. Okay, then check natin. So, we have 2 raised to 4 is 16. Tama? 2 raised to 4 is 16 divided by 4. That is 4. So, this is simply equal sa logarithm base 2 ng 16 over 4. And that is equal sa logarithm base 2 of 4. Okay. Next is, uh, I think pwede kong banggitin dito, no? Hindi ko nabanggit yung gantong property. If we have logarithm base A of A, that is simply equal sa 1. So, another useful property to. Okay. So, ang goal ko gagawin kong ganun. So, aware kayo na yung 4, pwede gawin kong 2 raised to 2. Tama. So, instead na gawin natin, equate natin to sa x para masolve natin siya. What if ganito gawin natin? So, yung 4 gagawin 2 raised to 2. So, this is equal sa logarithm base 2 ng 2 raised to 2. Bababa ko yung 2 doon. So, this is equal sa 2 logarithm base 2 of 2. Note, applying that property. So, logarithm base 2 of 2, that is 1. So, this is simply 2 times 1 which is equal sa 2. Okay? So, kunyari, sinunod ko, kunyari, hindi ko sinunod, kunyari, in-equate ko lang to sa x. Ano mangyari? That is 2 raised to x is equal to 4. So, yung 4, 2 raised to 2 lang yun. So, equal pa rin siya sa 2. So, ito lang, naglagay lang ako ng panibagong property na pwede mong gamitin. Okay, next is letter B. So, try natin mapunta ulit doon kung kaya. Kung hindi, edi iba na lang. So, we have letter B. We have logarithm base 10 of 25 plus logarithm base 10 of 40. Okay na. So, uh, that is product, no? So, that is logarithm base 10 ng 25 times 40. So, what is 25 times 40? So, 25 times 40, that is 1,000. Okay, so, this is logarithm base 10 of 1,000. Note yung 1,000, that is 10 raised to 3. So, apply ko ulit yung ganung rule. So, this is equal sa logarithm base 10 of 10 raised to 3. Bababa si 3, so this is 3 times logarithm base 10 of 10, which is equal sa 3 times 1, which is equal sa 3. Okay, so, ganun siya kadali. So, check din na sa calcul. Ang duda ka. So, that is base 10 of 25 plus logarithm of base 10 plus 40. So, check natin. Sabi ni calculator, that is 3. Okay, so, lahat tayong duda, tama yung sulit natin. Again, if applicable lang to. So, hindi sa lahat ng oras pwede natin gawin yan ha. So, ang akin lang, kaya ako siya ginamit. Kasi bago siyang property na pwede niyong gamitin. So, kunyari, nag-abot ka na dito, tapos hindi naman pwedeng ma-express as ganun. Ang gawin mo na lang, equate mo lang sa x, kung paano natin sasolve yung value niyan. So, ko na bahala. Okay, next is useful properties for logarithmic equation. So, sabi, uh, if logarithm base a of n is equal to logarithm base n, base a of m, 
then m n is equal to m. So, similar kanina, sabi niya, if parehas sila ng base, tas nakalay sa exponent, yung exponent equate natin. Dito naman, kung parehas sila ng base sa logarithm, yung mismo nasa loob ng logarithm, i-equate lang natin. Okay? So, ayun yung gagawin natin dito sa number 5. So, solve the following equation. Okay? So, for letter A, we have logarithm base A of x is equal to log 2, logarithm base A of 4 minus logarithm base A of 2. So, ganun ulit, ang gawin mo muna, syempre, express mo a single logarithm, both side of the equation. Okay, since ito nak-express na ng single logarithm, pwede ko na siyang uh, isulat na lang dyan. Or parang i-retain. So, for letter A, we have logarithm base A of x is equal to 2 log base A of 4 minus logarithm of A base 2. Uh, logarithm base A of 2. Next, ito express natin ng simplified form. So, this is logarithm base A of x is equal to logarithm base A of 4 raised to 2 minus logarithm base A of 2. Next, express as quotient. So, this is logarithm of A base x is equal to logarithm of A then 4 raised to 2 over 2. So, note na parehas na sila ng base. Okay, so that's logarithm base A of x. So, ito logarithm base A of 4 squared over 2. So, applying this property, therefore we have x is equal to 4 squared over 2. And simply, that is x is equal to 16 over 2 or simply, x is equal to 8. Okay, so ganun, kadali siya. So, again, that masimplify mo siya a single logarithm. Okay, next letter B. We have logarithm base 2 of x plus logarithm base 2 x minus 2 is equal to 3. So, sir, possible? Yes, possible din yan. So, for letter B, ang gawin mo, express mo ito as single logarithm. Tapos, i-equate mo naman siya into exponential form. So, dito, hindi natin magagawa yung application na ginagawa natin kanina. So, dito we have, a letter B, lagay ko lang, logarithm base 2 of x plus logarithm base 2 of x minus 2 is equal to 3. Okay, so by product property, so this is logarithm base 2 of x times x minus 2 is equal to 3. Next, applying the rule of exponent, express natin siya exponential, that is 2 raised to 3, that is 2 raised to 3 is equal to x times x minus 2, which is this is 8 is equal to x squared minus 2x or simply an equation this is x squared minus 2x minus 8 is equal to 0 okay next is by factoring so this is x I think x minus 4 then x plus 2 is equal to 0 therefore the value of x r is equal to 4 and x is equal to negative 2 note na ang sabi ng definition logarithm, bawal tayo magkaroon ng part sa loob ng logarithm na negative. Okay, therefore, this is extraneous root. So, since ito ay negative, ito ay extraneous root. Okay, therefore, ano yung value? X is equal to 4. So, again, ano yung mga bawal negative? Bawal negative yung base tapos yung nasa loob mismo. Okay, so, thank you for watching. Hoping na naintindihan mo yung ating discussion.